Hello everyone, uh, yesterday I went to St. Louis and I got some stuff and I'm going to review it today in this video. Alright, so let's start with all the stuff I got from Walmart. So the first thing I got from Walmart is uh, this Mikey in Disguise uh, figure. And uh, it's, it's really cool. I really like it. I got, I found out about this figure from Toidle, and uh, he's really cool. He has a, as you can see, he has a flocked hat. He has actually, um, he has nunchucks with actual metal uh, chains, um, and everything is removable. So you get this, you get a really nice hat and a trench coat. And then you can just remove it because this isn't really film accurate. Um, make a move. This much goes. And, uh, okay, so you can remove the trench coat and you can actually get a really nice uh, Michelangelo movie. You know, Michelangelo from the movie figure. You know, and this is really good for stop motion. I can already tell. I mean, I've already played with it a little, um, and it, it's just, it's really good. The Ninja Elite series are really good. Then let's talk about the box, which is the complete opposite from this really nice figure. The box, I mean, the design is really nice, you know, you get the clear, and you get the, you know, the thing, it tells you how much points of articulation you get, but, um... I had to completely destroy the little bubble, the plastic bubble, you know, because they, and they just put like these ties all over them, and they're the plastic ties, they're, it, this took me at least 20 minutes to open, that's crazy, I'm not even over exaggerating, 20 minutes, because I didn't want to scratch up anything or anything, but this took me a while, but at the same time I was really sleepy and it was like 10 at the night. So, uh, yeah, this took me a while to open, but I think it was all worth it because this is an amazing figure. Yeah, and also I forgot to mention that, um, all of these new Ninja Turtle figures kind of have this sticker on them, and it's really, it's kind of strange, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, then the next thing I got from Walmart is this Superman. I'm having to put it on the wall because, uh, you know, th if I do this, see, um, this is a 50th anniversary Mego. I love Mego because they're just really good figures. Uh, they're, they, they look really cool. So, um... This is a really good figure. Here, let me put the box over here. The box is amazing. It has this nice sticker. It has, you know, it, it, it's, it looks like the original Mego. So, here you go. Um, here's the Superman figure. The cape kind of feels like, it's, as you can see, it's just kind of feels like tissue paper. But I guess that's how the original Mego figure was. Anyways. This is really nice. The sticker. This isn't actually a sticker. This actually is a sticker, unlike uh, the other ones that they made that are actually uh, sewed on cloth, which I actually think I prefer the sewed on cloth. But uh, stickers will do since these are supposed to be replicas. But what does bother me is that they completely changed the body, so it's no longer rubber band and it's loose. I liked loose, but now this is like really stiff. It, it, it don't, I mean, I'm not complaining. These these will probably get looser over time, and uh, these will probably, you know, get better over time. But right now, it's just really stiff. Um, here, and here's one of my favorite things about Mego figures. At least they didn't change this, but it's just kind of like a giant onesie. I just think that's really funny. But anyways, here, let me show you the body model. 
All right, so here you go. So here is the body. Um, so as you can see here, the, these can actually move up and like kind of swivel around, unlike the original Mego figures. These have this joint instead of just being a rubber band. This is not, and since there's no rubber band, this is a uh, ball joint right here. And uh, of course, these are no longer from the rubber band, so that's there. And then this can also swivel. And the feet can also swivel now, too. But it's just kind of, it just, it looks like Amigo figure, but it just doesn't really feel as much like Amigo figure. It just kind of feels like a kind of a modern figure that's supposed to kind of look like an ego figure. I mean, I like, I like the feel of it, but it just, I don't know, just something feels off. It feels just off, but at the same time, it's amazing, because that way, these will now be easier to make stop motions with. So, uh, yeah. All right. So I went to Vintage Stock in a mall, and uh, I found this yellow submarine figure. Let me give you a big backstory. So ever since I was, uh, I found out that there were you know, yellow submarine figures in the late 90s to early 2000s, I really wanted them, um, and I finally got one. Not really one that I like extremely wanted. I really wanted John Lennon or Paul McCartney. But instead, I think I got a George Harrison, Sgt. Peppers. But honestly, I don't care. I've been looking for these for like, uh, two years now. <laughs> so, because, yeah, yeah, two years now. Because I remember two years ago, I really wanted Paul McCartney for my birthday. And then, I'm just going to include this one, um, with this one. Because I found it literally a second later. Here's the blue meanie dogs. Uh, I got them both for four dollars and ninety-nine cents, as you can see here. Four dollars ninety-nine cents, really good deal. I paid ten bucks for them, but really I didn't pay anything because I I sold some DVDs and stuff uh, for this, and I also got a. Paul McCartney new CD. So that's why I got a vintage stock. All right, so I went to Time Warp Toys after I went to the mall. And uh, uh, as you can see, I found the first thing I found that I was going to buy uh, was this Baxter Stockman. Uh, this is actually sealed, but as you can see from humidity or heat or water, I don't know, but as you can see, some of the bubble came off, but you can see, how do I know this is, this was, you know, sealed, um, it's because, see, this is, this is still glued onto there, and it's the same for this, just for here, and as you can see, someone taped it right there, I got this for $15, it's a Baxter Stockman, it's an original one too, so that's amazing. It's in a, uh, it's in uh, not the best condition, but this is my first ever sealed uh, TMNT 2012 that I've actually started, you know, since collecting. I remember I probably had this guy when TMNT came out, but whatever. Those are all <laughs> long gone by now. So uh, yeah. Okay, then there was this giant bin next to Baxter Stockman with all these uh, TMNT 2012, you know, 90s, 80s, 2007, just a giant thing. And this is the only figure that I um, found that I didn't already have, Cockroach Terminator. <laughs> so uh, I got this guy for $3. Uh, I think it's worth it. I'm probably going to make a video soon with him. He's, uh, he has this giant hole right here. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. I think some, something's missing, but um, over where I live, you never find TMNT 2012. So whenever I find TMNT 2012, I buy it. So, yeah. 
Alright, so then after I went to Time Warp Toys, I went to this antique mall that had tons of rock records. I couldn't even look through all of them since I was on, uh, you know, I was, you know, running out of time. So I only got three records, but these three records are amazing. Just uh, great. So I found this Elton John, Ice on Fire. I did, I've never, I never listened to this album, but it has Nikita on it, so I, I had to get it. It was only $2.50. That's about the same price if I found a single of Nikita, so I just bought it, because why not get the whole album? And I listened to it this morning. $2.50. The cover may not be in the best shape, but the record was in amazing shape. It never skipped. It's a good album. I'll just say that. Then, this was the only Wings album missing in my collection. It's in beautiful condition. Um, as you can see, the record I checked, I haven't listened to it yet, but it's the record is also in great condition. I got this for $6, but this is the only Wings album that was missing in my collection, so I just had to buy it. Um, it's in this very nice sleeve, too. It's like a, kind of like a envelope. And then, the last record is, uh, Press to Play. Um, I've listened to a couple songs, I liked them. But the real reason why I got this was it's it was only $14, and, uh, these can get worth some money. And the cover is in, uh, it's in pretty good shape, except, in, you know, except these, uh, little ring wear. I think that's what it's called. But this is the Gatefold album. So as you can see, there's all the... That's the Gatefold. And uh, of course, the record is in an amazing condition. I'll just show that real quick. But just look at that. These are all like near brand new. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all the things I got from St. Louis. Uh, thank you for watching.